Welcome back to a FS17 mod review here on the Square Farms map. Today we'll be taking a look at a pickup truck, rollback, flatbed, and trailer, a tractor, and a mini loader. Up first, we'll be taking a look at a 2010 GMC 2500 HD. This is a crew cab here with a six and a half foot bed, very nice looking. It is color changeable. It has a New York license plate, very nicely done here on the front end, and nice looking chrome. It also does have fog lights when you do come around to the side. Very nice looking wheels here with great tires. Take a look at that. Very nice. And it looks to be pretty new. 2500 HD. Very nice tow mirrors. Uh, chrome handles here on the doors. When you do come around to the back, it is a single rear wheel. Has a drop hitch. And it does have straps here in the bed. Take a look at that. Just around three of them there, which is nice. I really do like the look here of this truck. And it does look to be leveled, which is always uh, nice. Once we hop here on the inside, it has a top speed of 124 miles per hour. All of the lights do work here, the reverse lights, everything like that. This truck really does look pretty cool, and there isn't too many GMCs here in the game. You guys can see the fog lights, everything like that. On the interior, you guys can see it's pretty detailed, very nice looking dash. You guys can see working mirrors, and I mean, very nice looking. It does have the seats here, looks like. It has a drop down seat, so six seats here, and then this one is folded down, but pretty cool interior. Really do like it a lot. We'll take this here for a quick spin, and it has a very fast acceleration. I haven't been doing too much mod reviews lately because mods have been slowing down quite a lot. I will definitely do more as more and more come out, but I'm very excited for the brand new Farming Slater 19. I can't wait to bring you guys mod reviews on all the different uh, things for that game, including trucks and uh, farming equipment, everything like that. But very nice GMC. And all of the mod links can be found down below in the description. I do recommend you check them out. Up next, we'll be taking a look at a 1994 Chevy K3500 rollback. This is a very nice one. It is a regular cab here, which is great. Very nice looking wheels here on it. It is a dually. And take a look at that, guys. Chrome front bumper, New York license plate, great wheels. And I really do like the detailed on this. You guys can see great tow mirrors, chrome. That does look pretty cool. Now, this is a pretty interesting rollback. The exhaust is before the wheel. You guys can see the controls, but the interesting part is it does not have a tow bar which is pretty cool at the same time I do like having it changed up and there isn't too many LED lights if not none you guys can see no lights up there but you guys can see it's pretty cool two fire extinguishers this has a top speed at 124 miles per hour all of the lights to work here on reverse lights everything like that which is nice we'll just kind of pull forward here to take a quick look at the roll bed now it does have a locking script you guys can see it just rolls back very very nice to take a look at that that is perfect I can't wait to use this here in some pretty cool videos and on the first person view it does have a working steering wheel and you guys can see it does have a dash and seeds but it's not too detailed we'll take this here for a quick spin if you do have any cool mods you guys would like me to feature here in reviews please let me know down below in it the comments. I really do enjoy responding back to all of you guys. We are here featuring these reviews on the Square Farms map beta, which is currently public. You guys can go check it out in the release video where I did actually showcase it, and I did do a tour of it, if you guys would like. Up next, we'll be taking a look at a cab over a flatbed. This is a Scania. It also does come here with a trailer. I decided to just attach it to kind of show you guys what it does look like. Now, this is a pretty interesting back, and you guys can see the lights are here, but uh, the hitch is way down there, so that's a bit interesting. You guys can see flaps there, very nice tires, great looking wood decking. You guys can see it's stained, it looks like it's had a lot of wear and tear, which is nice. Same over here, a lot, a lot of straps, and it actually is backed up right up there to building uh, three axles there on the trailer in the center. And you guys can see this is pretty cool. This was made by Winston, and it's called the Loop Owl. Oh. So, I mean, that is pretty cool. We'll start this up top speed at 55 miles per hour. All of the lights you work on it does have locking scripts, which is great. And you guys can see, take a look at that the turning radius isn't that bad, especially having that. And you guys can see all of those lights. I mean, that is pretty cool having them all on. Wow. That's a lot of lights. On the interior, it does have a working steering wheel and working mirrors, along with working gauges, which is nice. I mean, very nice looking truck. Really do like this a lot. And it does have a little bit of body roll, which is realistic here for a cab over, but great overall flatbed. We'll feature this here in a few videos. And you guys can see the back end of the trailer. Very nice overall. 
Up next, we'll be taking a look at a John Deere tractor. This is a little bit on the older side, you guys, since see it's pretty big. Now, they do have the option here for single wheels, twin, or triple wheels. It's the John Deere 8970. Take a look this. Very big. I can't wait to add this here to the farm. It just looks so nice. Once we hop here on the inside, you guys, can see pretty cool. I really do like that a lot. Actually, you guys, can see when you turn it on, that top cap goes up there which is nice take off that working gauges on the inside top speed of 26 miles per hour so it's a pretty big John Deere tractor pretty fast actually and I just really do like it a lot I mean that is awesome and you guys can see this a uh, bit smaller cabin but it is older and it does do a great job if you do have any cool ideas here for us let me know down below in the comments the final mod we'll be taking a look at today is a very cool mini loader this is awesome now it does have the option for a variety of wheels and a few different things and I mean this thing looks awesome just take a look at this can't wait to add this to the landscaping series I really do like this a lot. Now, this does actually have a few options. When you do press X, the roll bar will go down just in case you want to load this into an enclosed shredder or into a shop that is uh, pretty tough to get in a clearance wise. You could do that. But take a look at that, guys. Really do like this a lot. Actually, it's a pretty high reach on it, which is nice. Great first person view. I mean, great turning radius. I mean, that's pretty good here for a mini loader. We we'll definitely have to add this to the. Uh, landscaping series possibly even maybe the rental store because this would be great to rent out i hope you guys enjoyed today's mod review all of the mod links will be down below in the description thanks for watching have a great day and subscribe for more